I'm here, I'm here, and I'm, I'm actually, and you may not really think so, but what I'm doing, what I'm doing is kind of step of faith, 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 yeah, church on Sunday's 11, this is Zeus, so Lex. And I'm gonna tell you like I told you the last time, make sure you subscribe mm -hmm, to Solex. Not me! <laughs> Yay! Tristan Sunday's 11. Mm -hmm. What were we talking about the last time? Well, I will tell you. And you're like, people are like, well, why do you need self realization? I need self realization. And I'll tell you some one of the biggest things freedom from the tyranny 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 and the worry because isn't isn't our isn't our world and the political stuff i'm not even going to get into it and, and even talk about any of it i mean right now just the political stuff the all of it all of it in our country in the united states the big it's it's like this storm you, do you understand what i'm saying it's like a storm of just all kinds of crap you know, I mean, oh my gosh, it's just upsetting and it's hard not to be attached to it and get involved with it and listen to it. And, but, but, you, but, 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 you, you know, you see, you know, you see is that I found self-realization and <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, I mean, I'm gonna, I, and I thank God because it is just a, I have to, I, I have to remind myself, you know, just to detach from, from all that, allowing me to focus on what's within, what's within me, you see, what's within me, you see, and focusing on my life, okay, and what's going on in, in just my little world, not so much a detachment from the rest of the world, I mean, you don't want to be ignorant, you know, ignorant, and, you know, well, we'll just leave it at that, and be detached and not know what's going on, but at the same time, we tend to get obsessed with it. And people, you know, my people say, well, I don't get obsessed with it. I don't care what's going on. I don't, I don't, I don't have any terror in your worry. Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. <clears throat> Life is going to bring you its difficulties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big time challenges. Um, big time challenges. I mean, I went through one one time, and I'll get into this much later because it's a story. Um, I broke both my legs, broke my nose, lost half of my blood. And I'm telling you, I had self-realization before that accident and um boy when tough it's the tough times you must embrace because that's where you get the most character right i, I mean and that that just that situation came into my life um and, and i and i tell you you know we 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 tend to want to attach ourselves to the outside of things and the the physical and everything else that's out here no matter what it is when i say attached to the outside i mean you know we're we're attaching ourselves to substance uh to to try to detach um we're trying to you know we're we're, we're attaching ourselves to other things on the outside that are that are that are to distract us from the reality of the things that are going on when we must do what we do to detach and be within, mm -hmm. be within, be within, be within, and that um, that process is a self-realization. Uh -huh. Because when you have that peace and you have understanding, that's the biggest thing that it brings you in your life is is peace, peace and power. Yeah, power. There's great power in this, and you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, and you'll you'll see. Because I'm gonna talk about it. you. Just keep listening. You just keep listening. Do you understand me? <laughs> you better. Mm -hmm. Listen to them. One, two, three, four, and just, in, you, know, you know how to count. I'm sure you do. Okay, okay, okay. So you just keep listening to them. Listening to them because I'm going to just reveal a little bit of go along. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. So self-realization, the biggest thing for it is for you to free yourself from the tyranny because trouble is going to come your way. You know, you ain't void of it. Nobody is. No, 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 no. But is avoiding any kind of troubles in your life. But if you are, and I've had some deep, dark troubles, let me tell you that. Um, and I'll get to those because I feel like I'm going to be an open book. And I'm just going to let it all hang out. Yeah, let it all hang out. Yeah. And uh, tell you everything because doesn't everybody want to know the real experience? You know, that's why 
<laughs> That's why social media and, and all this stuff exists because people like looking at real life. You know, I, I'm real, and even though I'm even <laughs> crazy, crazy. <laughs> You want to know what the experience that you've been through and the experiences that I have been through have been like tremendous and my life is a book and I got to get this out. I mean, I got to get it out. And rather than me sitting down and trying to write a book, which I think one day I probably will, but right now, this is the best way. So this is like watching these videos, you see, it's like reading a book, except it's a real person talking, talk, 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 talk. I'm talk, talking, talk, talking. And um, 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 um. so... Uh, Self-realization, and uh, I think the next powerful, the, the next thing that I will go to in the most powerful thing, because I talked about the power, the power that is within you. You know, like, well, what kind of power it is? You know, like, uh, you, you get a magic wand? Well, sort of, kind of, but not really, and we're going to get to that too, but, but... One of the things that it leads to for the guidance for you is your inner, is your spiritual inner voice. And we all got it. I don't care who you are. And it's not voices, it's voice. And we all got it because, you know, how many people out there, by raise of hands, raise your hand. Go ahead, I can see you. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Um, is the voice that is within inside you. And how many people out there, you know, how, by raise of hands, um, I begin to, I raise too, yeah. <laughs> um, by raise of hands, no, something inside told me that. I don't know, something inside said that. I knew that because something inside said that. Well, gears rut, gears rut. But the thing about it is, is, um, is, 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 is that there's all kinds of voices there. Because remember, we talked about the spiritual warfare, the spiritual warfare that's out there. That's when you know, because way, way, way back in the beginning of time, 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 time. You see, when God made creation and then He made man, and then that's where Satan got his little weasel ass and the. Oop, just a family show, you know, it's okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's for saying God his little, you know, tail in there because God gave man free will, right? God gave man free will. And God can, I mean, man can exercise that will through the power of what? Suggestion, okay? Suggestion. And so there's lots of voices out there. And and there's, a lots, of, there's lots, of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of evil in the world that's out there too. And, uh, you know, we're going to get to all this stuff because I'm going to get to the fine, 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 fine details. You see the fine, fine details about all this. And, but we're going to start with, you know, your spiritual voice. We all have it. We all have it. And, um, and, and it's there. It's just, are you listening? Are you listening? And not only that, are you listening, but are you acting on those words too? And this isn't, I, I'm going to tell you, and I don't want to discourage you either, but this is something that, you know, learning to hear the spiritual voice and to be able to listen to that spiritual voice and then to be able, not only that, to be able to act. Because I, I'll tell you one thing, your spiritual voice is the first thing, is usually, is usually, boom, the first thought that's there, the very first one, the one that's crystal clear. Sometimes if you're, if you're going to God and you're asking questions, and you, and you want to say, dear God, I'm not, and that the answer is there before you even finish your question, okay? The answer is there before you even finish your question. And there's a process that you got to go through, and you got to go through the felt experience of all that too. Because if you, you know, in your meditation, you're praying, and you're saying, and you're praying, and you said, dear Heavenly Father, make my spiritual voice clearer and louder. That is one thing that I've done, clearer and louder. And I'm pretty tuned in. I mean, it's taken a long time, but I'm pretty, pretty, pretty tuned in. And you know, and I'll admit to the fact, the majority of the most of the time, I don't listen and I don't do what it says. You know what I mean? It's like, ding, ding, ding. How stupid is that? You know, but, I'm, but it's all a part of the process. It's all a part of being human and being able to tune into that voice. And not only that, listen, and I got... I'm, let me let me let me let me just give you um, uh, a little story here. I know this sounds so crazy, but this is just one story, right? And it's one story when um, I used to be married. I'm not anymore, but I hope to one day. And um, I was uh, my uh, wife at the time. She called me into. Um, she called me and she said she wanted to go talk in our bedroom. You know, so I'm like, okay. I'm all like, oh, I didn't want to go in there. I didn't want to go in there. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. 
<laughs> but I had to do it anyways, right? So before I'm walking in there, I'm going, and I'm going to tell you, I'm to 100%. That, that voice that is inside you, and it's got, it's God. It's got a sense of humor, all of it. God will use whatever needs to be said to you in that moment for you to get this. And see, this is, you You can't just brush this one aside that I'm about to tell you. You cannot brush it aside. Once I tell you, you cannot brush it. You cannot brush it. No, 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 no. You cannot brush it. And um, so I'm going into the room and I, I'm like, dear Heavenly Father, just please guide me and direct me and, and help me through uh, this time that I'm supposed to, you know, well, you know, I go do something I didn't want to do, but I got to do it anyway. And so I go, uh, I go walking in there and I hadn't heard this song uh, forever. I haven't heard it forever, forever. And so I'm just about, so I, I finish my prayer, I walk out, and read this. The, sec, the, 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 the thing that goes right through my mind was what? Yaggity yak, don't talk back. A lot of people out there know that song's from the 50s, right? I hadn't heard that song and I don't know how, but yaggity yak, don't talk back. Well, okay, so what did I do? I went in there, I talked back. And well, <laughs> You're going to have to go to the next video. Get uh, 12. This one's 1, 2, this one's 11, 11, 11. You got to go to 12. <laughs>